Hi ladies, it's Valerie. It is October 2nd, 2012, and I'm really excited to be vlogging again. Um, I, this is the, the new mom look here. Um, so excuse the, the um, kind of disheveled look. Um, definitely adjusting to be a mom. Uh, this is going to be uh, my, uh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and start my labor and delivery story. I'm gonna get as much done as I can um, in this one video. Um, baby is downstairs asleep and he will be waking up soon to eat. So let's get on with it. I wanted to go ahead and start in here to show you my one month postpartum body. So, okay. Um, I think that it's come along pretty well. Um, still have, I'm definitely not as a uh, flat and taut and toned as I was, but pretty much, you know, just have a little bit of a Kind of a pooch here left. So, um, nothing too crazy. These are uh, maternity shorts. They're just comfortable shorts. So, um, I guess I can show the postpartum belly. It's not very attractive, but it is what it is. And obviously the, you know, have stretch marks and the line is still there. Um, but yeah, so there it is. Um, I'm not really that worried about it. Um, oops. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, let's just pop into the laundry room and start my second rinse. <laughs> okay. Um, so I guess this can kind of be a, um, maybe a one month postpartum vlog as opposed to my labor and delivery vlog. I'll do that um, in a little bit, but I'll go ahead and just set this down. And I don't want the bear's nose in the frame the entire time. Okay, sorry for the cleavage shots. Um, okay, so um, one month postpartum. The, um, the past month has definitely been um, amazing. It's gone by so quick and it's just been um, so much of what I haven't expected and a lot of um, uh, just in a lot of different ways, good and bad. Um, not, not much bad at all. Um, of course, uh, you know, there's not much sleeping. Um, and it's not that there's not much sleeping. It's just that it's um, different sleeping than what I'm used to. It's not um, six to eight hour chunks of sleep at a time. It's two and three hour chunks of sleep at a time. Um, I'm not taking as many naps as I should during the day, which really stinks. Um, and that usually ends up biting me in the butt. Um, but it is what it is. I'm working on it. Um, breastfeeding is going really well. Um, we actually had his uh, one month checkup today and I will do a one month um, baby vlog for him and I'll introduce you to him. Um, I don't know if that'll be today, that might be tomorrow, um, just because we've got some things going on this evening, but um, our birth, I'll just say that our labor and delivery um, went uh, pretty well. Um, there were some things that, you know, of course you never know what's going to happen until it happens, and so there were some, you know, it's just some learning things that we um, we experienced, and uh, overall we're really um, at peace and really happy with uh, with how it went. Um, my recovery has been um, pretty good. I think that I did overdo my overdo it um, a little bit early on and I'm kind of paying for that now I think. Um, we, what, um, I had a second degree tear. Um, I will say that I did do all natural uh, with the exception of um, having to use forceps at the end and again I will Oh, I will um, explain all of that in our um, in my labor and delivery blog, which I will do. Um, like I said, hopefully um, in the next I don't know um, in the next day or so. I really want to get it done. I'm gonna, sorry, I'm like trying to set this up. Um, so I will explain all of that. I'm really excited to tell our story. Still have the water. Sorry. Um, so very, very thirsty. Breastfeeding uh, makes me incredibly thirsty. I don't know if anybody else experiences that, but it's like as soon as he latches on, I'm like dying of thirst. I have to have my water right there. Um, 
let's see. I can't remember where I was going. Oh, um, so with the recovery, um, again, the second degree tear, um, obviously I had stitches. Um, and the first, you know, uh, gosh, um, after the, the labor and delivery, I was really, really sore for um, a number of days, like so sore I couldn't lift uh, my legs um, very well because um, I did spend about six hours pushing and that's what led to the forceps delivery ultimately, um, well, the assistance of the forceps. So again, I'll get into all of that, but it just is a part of the recovery and the postpartum as well. Um, so I started feeling better kind of after a week and then, um, towards, I don't know, the beginning of last week. So maybe around, um, three, I don't know, three, three and a half weeks. Um, I, st it started, um, to act up again down there. So, um, nothing crazy, just, um, some discomfort. So I, it's been interesting. Um, I don't know really what I expected from recovering from giving birth um but I guess this just wasn't it I I guess obviously I, you know never giving birth um and being a relatively fit and healthy person I guess I just assumed that afterward there would be like some discomfort and I would be good to go um I guess I didn't expect um maybe how uncomfortable I would be and um the amount of I don't know, care it would take to recover from giving birth. And I mean, it, that sounds really silly. I mean, obviously you push out a human being, you're going to need to have time to recover and rest. And um, again, I don't think that I did that. Actually, I know I didn't do that because I was like up doing household chores and things as best as I could while I'm like have a baby latched onto me. Um, and that's just how I am. I know that I need to uh, not overdo it so much. Um, but anyway, so that's basically my one month. Um, I have had a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit here and there of, uh, of being kind of hormonal emotionally and things like that, um, but not too bad. No um, depression or anything like that. I wouldn't even say I've had any baby blues or anything. Um, it's, it's difficult. Um, it's definitely, I think the biggest things that I've had to deal with in the past month um, are feelings of anxiety which I'm learning more and more over the past um, year or so that I um, am having, I have some issues uh, and it stems from control issues, which again, over the past couple of years, I've realized that I have those. So um, just, uh, you know, I've always kind of been a perfectionist and I want, um, you know, I want to project, um, I guess, an image of, uh, not of perfection, but just, um, I don't know that everything is well. and. Um, so I guess the thought of uh, having a newborn who's not on any schedule, who you don't know what's gonna happen any second, um, you know, it stems from wanting him to be perfectly content and happy. I don't, you know, I know that babies fuss. I know that that's how they communicate. Um, I don't expect to have a perfect little angel baby child, um, but I guess it does just make me anxious thinking about uh, going out and him being, you know, upset and me not being able to console him and other people, you know, kind of like, Oh, your kid is, you know, a wreck or whatever. Um, I just want him to be happy and I want him to be healthy, um, ultimately. And, um, I think that's about all as far as, uh, postpartum goes, as far as my end goes. Um, I really wanted to just remember everything and remember every moment. Um, I haven't been good at journaling like I wanted to. I really wanted to journal like every single day of, um, of his life, honestly. Um, and I know that's silly, um, but I did, I just wanted to remember everything his first, uh, you know, few weeks. And so I have a, a few things jotted down here and there, but nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. Um, what else? You know, other than that, all I can say is that my husband has been great. Um, it's been difficult again as a mom to, um, to kind of let go of some of that control and to let him be a dad and to let him parent when, um, you know, I am breastfeeding and, you know, the baby needs me to eat and to soothe and all of those things. Um, so it's been, it's been difficult to kind of let go of some of that as well and just let, um, you know, let somebody else kind of take the reins at, at a time. Um, and like I said, breastfeeding's going well. At the beginning, um, everything was great. He breastfed right out of the womb and, um, he didn't have any sort of, um, you know, anatomical issues as far as, you know, tongue ties or anything like that. And, um, 
it was, uh, it's been great. We, I think that I, I attribute our success at breastfeeding, um, definitely to our Bradley classes and the, um, breastfeeding classes that we took and, uh, just the knowledge that we gained from that. Um, I, I just, I can't, uh, stress enough how important it is to really gain some knowledge about it before, before doing it. It is a very natural thing, but I do think that it takes knowledge to be able to, um, just to kind of know what to expect and also, um, to not get frustrated with it. Um, let's see. Oh, and also, um, we did have a doula and I would just over the moon recommend a doula. Um, my husband is absolutely so super supportive. Um, however, um, it was wonderful. He and I both agree that it was wonderful to have our doula present at our birth. And, um, she's just been wonderful and I consider her, um, you know, a wonderful friend now, um, and somebody that I look to for, um, support and resources and advice as a parent. Um, I'm probably abusing her, uh, and need to pay her some more, <laughs> but, um, I do recommend having a doula. Um, and again, I will go into so much more in our labor and delivery. I don't really know what to talk about in a postpartum vlog. So I hope that this has been, um, at least just a little, um, a little hello from me and, I hope that you will stay tuned to hear our labor and delivery story. It will be long, I can tell, because I know that I'm going to go on and on about it. Um, and yeah, like I said, uh, be uh, stay tuned for being able to meet uh, our little man. And also, um, I will be doing a review of some natural products and a giveaway soon. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited. I am getting back into the swing of my vlogs. I do want to vlog and uh, reconnect with the community a little bit. And I am on Facebook, and that's probably the best way to stay connected. Um, even though I've been slacking off there a little bit too. But um, my Facebook name is Valerie Valley Girl. Is there a number on there? No, I think it's just Valerie Valerie Valley Girl. So. Valerie and then the last name, uh, V-A-L-L-Y-G-I-R-L. So V-A-L-E-R-I-E, -E, Valley Girl. Okay, I'm obviously kind of out of it, so I'm gonna go, but uh, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to bringing you the rest of our story. All right, bye.